Hi there, signs of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do a reading for you, and this reading is going to be for your rest of December 2021. So the rest of the year 2021. So we're going to pull from the Modern God Goddess deck first. I'm actually let's burn some sage it's from my last reading and um, and get these decks blessed. Clear out the energy from the last reading. So, Scorpio, calling in your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self, higher power. Let's get messages for the greater good, or Scorpio's greater good. All right, go in a little bit. We're going to use this deck, the Modern Love Tarot. So... Modern love tarot. All right, Scorpio, I think we're ready. Let's get those over there. Modern goddess oracle. What messages do you have to give to Scorpio to help them with the end to get through this 2021 so that they can be past this year five, the fives, oh. So it can be past all this change, which is glorious change, though. Sarah Swati. Sarah Swati is what has come in out. So I hope I pronounced that right. Let's see. Go into the goddess book. Sarah Swati. Sarah Swati. I'm getting told to read both, uh, like the whole book here, the shadow meaning too. So that might be why just one came out. Let's um, go ahead and get into this. Saraswati, learning. Um, the symbol is the book. Malabeats, the white lotus. Avena, instrument. That right there, it might be Vena. I don't know. It's V-E-E-N-A instrument. Okay, and the affirmation says, I'm open to learning new skills and talents every day. Saraswati is the Hindu goddess of wisdom and knowledge. Saraswati, the patron of the arts, humanities, uh, creativity, music. Her four hands represent the mind, intellect, alertness, and ego. She carries a mala for focus gained from meditation. She carries a mala from, for focus gained through meditation. And plays the vena from which all creativity and art flow. The book she reads symbolizes learning. She is a personification of Sarah Savati, Sarah Savati, Sarah Savati River, representing abundance and her waters purify the mind. She sits on the lotus, symbolizing the elements of the universe that the artists use or the artists use. Okay, so the four hands represent the mind, intellect, alertness, and ego. She assists in taking away laziness and lethargy and helps the mind rise above the material ego. So the divination mean, it says, if you have pulled Saraswati out today, it is time to learn something new. It says, no matter how this manifests in your life, it might be time to consult the experts and find a teacher to show you a new way. So enroll in a class you've always wanted to take or learn to play a musical instrument. Listen to music you've never heard before. Expand your horizons. The shadow meaning of Sarah Swati. Have you become a know-it-all? While that has worked for a long time, you can easily get stuck when you think you know everything. Yeah, that's true. It's true. A wise man admits that, um, well, actually, it, a, a wise person is not going to say that they know the answer. That That's kind of how you can tell, is that there's, there's not real um, concrete anything when it comes to dealing with the truths or matters of the heart it's um there's no real way to be co completely concrete with it this that would just be um part of the illusion 
So it says, while, so while these things have worked for a while, if they're not working now in this energy, it says you're being called to open up to a new way of doing something. Another way this card manifests itself in shadow is when you expect everyone around you does the same things you do or do the same things you do. Others won't process information the same way or replicate, replicate your results. Being too stuck in your habits can make you a bit of a tyrant, so there's a need to be really flexible. How you can heal with Saraswati. Ask others to share their knowledge and ideas, even if they have less experience than you, simply to get a different perspective. Allow others, especially children and spouses, to do things their way. And meditate to help release the ego's grip. Meditate to help release the ego's grip. All right. Hindu goddess Saraswati, goddess of arts. I like this deck. I'm going to keep using this deck until I have all these goddesses just down pat because I think they're so interesting to know these. <clears throat> all right, so... Don't use the mind too much. They're asking you to be creative here. Get into your creative and, and get out of thinking you know it all, too. Uh, that, that is a rut. That will get you in a dead end thinking that you know it all. Yeah. All right. So, sacred signs and symbols and the epiphany deck. I'm pulling out. They're blended. Both of them are. Wow, and you know, I did notice the yellow here, and especially being called out since enlightenment came out. There's enlightenment and seeing more clearly. I love that. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay, so I'm trying to fit these up here because I have a feeling we're going to do a few of these um, cards. I want to pull out a few. What else? What else? On the floor, on the floor. Twin flame union approaching. Twin flame union approaching. It's a general reading, but any messages are allowed to come through, you know, so we don't put any limits on our readings. Um, the rose, charming, romantic proposal, and apology. Twin flame union approaching. Okay, mirror, a reflection, mirroring, and self-awareness. Oh, well, that definitely is maybe what you're seeing more clearly, especially in, um, it doesn't have to just be twin flame energy. It can be just a karmic relationship, you know, where any relationship, uh, every single circumstance is to help you learn. Every single person in your life is to help you learn and gain something, no matter what the interaction was like. So reflection, mirroring, self-awareness, All right. I have think the impossible, think the unexpected with a, it looks like a pregnant person on the card. Uh, I have mastering a karmic lesson. So I would definitely listen to an apology or if you're the one making the apology, um, that's big part of clearing a lesson here. So eagle, we have power predator. <laughs> I think you are the power here though. I think you are the power. I'm going to put that card right up there where it really... It, um, wow, it just belongs, doesn't it? It all just belongs there. Okay. So that's what I got for the oracles. We're going to pull a crayon card at the end too. And like I said, we're using, um, with this, we are going to use the Modern Love Tarot. I put that right over her face. Here, let's put it right there. Okay. Let's see. Deep breath. Messages for Cancer. No, not Cancer. Why did I say Cancer? Scorpio. Sorry, Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio coming out of a situation where we felt ignored or or financial str strength or temporary. It's like a temporary. 
what's the energies? Um, this is what we're going to assess is the energies from here to the end of um, to the end of 2021. Okay, so spirit guides, angels, give us messages, please, um, for the main energy that Scorpio is going to be dealing with. Helps to know what it is, right? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I'm thinking it's supposed to be like this because of the way I flipped it. I'm thinking it's supposed to be like this, which I'll read both ways anyway. Okay, so this way may be that we are on our well on our way to financial um, independence. The Nine of Pentacles. It's it's not just financial, but it's it's being reliant on self and self alone. Um, kind of clearing out any un like any hidden intentions um clearing out that energy making sure that the, the decisions that you make are based on your own decision not because anything is coercing you or has you feeling like you have to nine of pentacle energy virgo energy a financial windfall if you're involved in a um, court dispute that has a settlement, it may be about resolving that. It may be about breaking down and getting one payment instead of little ones. Mm, what else? What else? What else? It just feels so independent and free. And I'm feeling like... Um, entrepreneur it's giving you this self-reliance is giving you a different perspective it's helping you with your freedom but it's giving you a lot of power you're coming across as like a very powerful person Ooh, recent past energy or past energy is the energy that's still present right now the magician i mean in this card it just clearly it's, it's like the stage opens up and you are there it is your magic ready to be performed you have every element you need for this magic trick whatever it is you're pulling out of your hat um you're confident you're looking confident you're an infinite creator you've done this a lot so you should be confident um the magician here, whew, entrepreneur and the magician, you have made something manifest, um, something that you're really proud of. I would be proud of it. The red wine might be signifying like some connection with you or that Marilyn Monroe type dress. Nice. Underlying everything is charity, good grace, the option, um, no, let's look at it this way. The opportunity to help another in need. But it's the equal exchange of give, give and exchange, a give and take of this energy here. So it's really beautiful. The stage feels like it's set up for um, love to be expressed in many different ways. Sometimes it's in helping somebody kind of get out of a hole, right? So sometimes you just need assistance getting out of a hole. Let me, um, like that. I want you to be able to see the whole thing. There we go. Ah, sorry. Okay, so this is what happens when I start messing around with stuff. In the middle of a reading. What am I doing? Okay. So, um, Six of Pentacles is a success. It's, um, it may be charity. It may be you give, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. It's compromise. There's something that's really successful having to do with this exchange of energy, love, support, help, compassion. The now moment, this now moment is the Five of Swords. I feel like it's mainly in the reverse. Um, if you're going off independent on your own, it's because you didn't want to fight anymore. You didn't want to fight anymore. Possibly didn't want to fight in front of children children anymore. Something was just really re revealed to you. Um, the effects of something that you maybe weren't aware of. But like I said, this is going away though. You also, just because it's the independence card doesn't mean that you're all going to be, you know, away from your um, relationship. Because... No, I definitely think that um, if you want to be in a relationship, that's fine. You just don't want the drama that comes with this. 
you don't want to be lured into fighting over something or for something. Okay, the future energy coming towards you. Nice, guys. Wow. Oh, and on the bottom, I'm going to show you this. Ace of Cups is your result your energy that you're going towards okay five of wands is in the reverse here with the five of swords in reverse so there's big change it's gonna stop any arguing um conflicts any fight you're not going to be able to be that conflicted and actually live with somebody else it's just like you can't live you're not going to be able to live a lie or something that doesn't feel right. So we have the Ace of Cups is a huge, huge opportunity. It's the beginning of all great emotions. Um, this is for you to experience love in a way that you know never really have. And it's also screaming out to me that you're going to end up depending on love in a way you never have either. I really like the artist's um, rendition of this. I, I like... I like, it's like this fragile, it looks like this fragile, almost um, maybe glass-like cup, but it's right there in between the jagged rocks with the best of them because love conquers all. This could be some new opportunity within a family structure, within uh, blessings on a home or a finances to get a business going. There's something big here with that. The Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning down something just so loving. You're going to absolutely have many opportunities to um, show your love and express your love through this, whatever this project is, and vice versa. The Spirit is going to be able to show you how much love is inside of you by what you start to see reflected. And that's that's where we wanted it to be, right? Right, so there we go. There we go. Um, let's get a crayon for you. Card, crayon card to wrap up this reading, Scorpios. For your um, 2021, it looks like the energies you might be leaving behind would be the ones that are reversed. So this five of wands energy in the reverse here, I feel like it's gonna be uh, left behind. No more arguing, no more bickering um, over petty things, okay? And also something about arguing in front of people or somebody in the family and, and, and being awakened to how something is affecting someone or someone's. Oh, wow. You're about to see how powerful you are. Oh, my God. So all this energy is like there's a big gift coming towards you anyway. I can clearly see that with this Ace of Cups. But you got that you are powerful card. That's when all the energies, it's like this is the, the seed, right? This creative seed here. And it's like when all these energies come together, the right synchronistic time, it explodes. And your power is just boom really, really strong. So I'm going to look this up for you and we're going to um, read from the book so that you can get um, all, all of the information. I'm going to start with creative seed, the creative seed. <clears throat> the greatest authority is the creative seed in you. Your intuition is going to give you the answers to most demanding life's questions. Um, what this is telling you is that you're in control of your own reality, consciousness, and life's path. You don't need validation from others, be it family or spiritual organization. Within you is the wisdom that you create for your own life in a way that is intuitive for you. Within you is the wisdom to know the God inside and to walk a spiritual path with integrity and not just following rules that others have given you. Within you is the intuition to know you. Understand the real author or person in authority should be you writing this story. Um, you are powerful. It says it's time you knew the truth. You are in control of so much more than you have been taught. That's how powerful you are. What is it that you've been taught? Some of us uh, know that we are taught not to be powerful at all. Some even claim that we were born, born dirty 
and most tell us we can't directly speak to God. Our power comes from being magnificent, no matter what you're told. You are born in the image of God, which is a way of saying we are the image of love and magnificence. This is a truth. <clears throat> it's empowering, loving, and it makes spiritual sense. So perhaps you've pulled this card at a time when you're feeling less than magnificent, or perhaps you just needed a reminder. The words from uh, Cryon say, you are in control. This is yet another reminder that we are not a victim of this planet. We didn't arrive here with a plan to suffer. It's the old energy slogans and teachings of men who want to enslave you and make you conform to a system of control. And this is not a plan from creator and never was. Would you do that to your own children? Then why do you think the unconditional love of the universe would create a system which we, which you were born to suffer and then be judged? It says you are so powerful and that means just that. Wow. So something really amazing is about to show you just how powerful you are. Scorpio, let's get you a fairy dust too. A fairy dust card. Okay, animal healing. Oop. Boop. Boop. Animal healing, animal healing. No matter the creature, earth, sky, or sea, animals show us how true love can be. And friends, all the love your light extends, its reflection in chosen friends. Compassion, networking, it's all coming out to me as that too. So let's get um let's get a fortune cookie too. And you know what? Let's get one of these too. Let's do one of these also. Oops. I just ran over my charge cord. I really hope it still works. Hope it works. Okay, fortune cookie for Scorpio. <laughs> Difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as these perils are not foretold. Difficult times. Pe perseverance. You may feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes up ahead. Don't give up. No, you've got major um, blessings coming. So don't, don't you dare um, stop now. There's major, major blessings here. All right. So this deck right here is the Oracle of Genetic Gifts. Um, perhaps there's something that might come out that it reminds you of um, a gift or something that you maybe didn't even know that you had. Okay, <laughs> maybe you knew you had a Facebook. <laughs> or it might be saying get away from Facebook. I don't know, it just depends on what you feel from that. Facebook platform, spiritual posts and activities. Numerologist, study of divine numbers. Claire cognizance, a clear knowing. Angel numbers. Sequence of numbers that carry out divine guidance. And pendulum reader, scrying, rune casting, and dowsing. And um, okay, since they said angel numbers, I gotta pull from my angel number deck for you, and then we'll we'll actually like I will for real close it out with that one. Yeah. 21, Ace of Wands energy. I am inspiring. You are creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals in itself everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. I am inspiring 21 and sending you much love and light by Scorpio.